uh, do you want any tips on automation? Because I've also, I've got some automations I can show too if you're interested in that. Okay, awesome. So that, yeah, that's actually kind of the last of my little little spiel I've got here is quick automation tips. So I'm going to show you how to make these in a Trello board, but um, how familiar are you with Trello automation? Very, much. Very familiar. Okay, okay. Yes, okay. So this might, some of this might be a little bit basic then because I'm kind of, you know, I'm finding that you're doing all of this. Okay, well, cool. This, this might be, this might be a quick one, quick one for you then, but basically, you know, a lot of people don't know automation even exists and you know it's you access it up here there's the different types of automation so you probably already understand this but rule the the way you decide which automation you need is based on how you trigger it and so if you want to click a button for it to happen that's where you use buttons if you want it to happen every day you use scheduled if you want it to relate to due dates it's due dates and pretty much anything else is rules and so yeah i mean some of the most common ones that i've seen are um you know when the, the easiest one to set is when a due date is at, like when a date is added to a card, if you go to this date section, it's its own rule right here. But when a card name contains a date, set it on the card. So you can type like check up with client on Monday and it will like actually set the due date to Monday. Um, so that's, that's a super, super simple one, but like really helpful with that. Um, a lot of people are doing stuff too with when a card is added to a board. And so for instance, like when a card is added to the board, you can assign someone in turn. And so let's say for instance, you have like a, you know, you know, you have five designers and when a project moves into design, you need it to randomly pick one. It can actually keep track of who it's picked last and then, and then send to, you know, someone. So that's under the members, like add a member at random or in turn. So that one's like a, a kind of hidden, but like really handy one for assigning people on your team. Um, the other one for, uh, um, setting like the moment a card is due moving it to a specific list for like today because that's a good way to be like okay well what do I need to work on today it, like drags everything over um, and then creating recurring cards so like every day create a card um, I, I like um, one where at the end of the week create a list um, of like cards done this week move everything and done to that list and then it kind of like helps you clean things up and now that you can collapse boards you can just kind of keep it all in there and hide it um, so yeah, so this is probably like way yeah. You're, you're probably like, all right, we're doing it. we're doing some more advanced stuff than this, no, but this is great. yeah. Um, I'll be in charge. Yeah. Does Loom work with Trello? Does who Loom? Loom? Yeah. Well, so Loom works in the sense of you can embed stuff in it, and so like for instance, okay. let's say I'm. Uh, da -da -da -da. But it's a separate subscription, right? It is a separate subscription. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still yeah, it's still a separate thing. Okay. But yeah, it works really well in the sense of like you can okay. you know record something and then embed it. And so, and they've been doing that for a while, like even before the, um, the before the acquisition, like, yeah. um, you know, so let's say I'm recording something here, blah, 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 I've got my loom. I can now take that and I can embed that in a Trello card. So I can make it the name and it's going to like embed just like that. Yeah. Um, I can, oh, whoop, I can click it obviously to go to it. I can open a preview and it's going to be right there. I can even embed it like inside of a card. So if I wanted to like put it like here, um, do you know about this part where you can click on a link you put the card and you can view it like different ways? No, that I didn't know. Okay, so when you paste a link, it, this happens with a lot of things like YouTube and Confluence and different things. Click the link and you can see, ignore this little context menu here, but you can see you can make it a URL, inline, a card, or an embed. And it'll do like different things based on what you select. Awesome. You can also set your default for that. So you can say like always make it a card or always make it an embed. So yeah, so yeah. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. You too. Yes, and I'm going to send you an email or I'll send you a LinkedIn message with all this stuff. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Wait, what? I got you hugging someone off frame. Oh, off frame. You come closer for the hug. There we go. Recreate. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay, I think that went well. <laughs>